அனைவருக்கும் அன்பான வணக்கம் கனடிய தமிழர் பேரவையின் பதினான்காவது தாய் பொங்கல் தமிழ் மரவோ திங்கள் விழா விழாவில் இணைந்துள்ள உங்கள் அனைவரையும் அன்புடன் வரவேற்கின்றோம் குட் ஈவினிங் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஆல் ஐசோலேட்டிங் அண்ட் வெல் தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் ஜாயினிங் அஸ் டுனைட் ஃபார் த ஃபோர்டீன் ஆனுவல் கனேடியன் தாமோ காங்கிரஸ் தாய் பொங்கல் டினர் அண்ட் வெர்ச்சுவல் இவெண்ட் மை நேம் இஸ் ஜேம்ஸ் ஞானி and i will be your host for tonight as we celebrate tonight's thai pongal and tamil heritage month gathering we want to give thanks and respects to those who first cultivated this land that i and most of us here call home we would like to acknowledge that the land on which we operate is located on the traditional territory of the huron wendat and the petun first nations the seneca and most recently the mississaugas of the credit river as we gather this virtual event We are thankful for the opportunity to be here today in traditional lands as guests and to share these exchanges with all of the indigenous and non-indigenous participants in this virtual room. To reiterate the importance of this gathering, Thai Pongal serves as a very particular significance to Tamils around the world. Not only is it a celebration of harvest and the end of the winter solstice, but one that signifies seasonal rebirth for all Tamil speaking people irrespective of religion and denomination as we gather tonight let us hold its guiding principles of faith hope and gratitude in our hearts as we tackle this tumultuous times in our species history even though the mediums for expressing ourselves may have been temporarily disrupted the existential needs of the times is more entrenched than ever and there is no time to dither It is with this resolve that the Canadian Tamil Congress has been able to pivot its community duties and philanthropic actions to carry on with even more urgency and agency. We appreciate you for joining us tonight in our collective will to forecast a future where unity and hope are both a code and an honor to live by. Before we continue to our national anthem, I would like to request that we observe a moment of silence in remembering all of the lives lost in search of peace and freedom and the ongoing COVID pandemic. Thank you. We will now forward to the singing of the Canadian national anthem followed by the Tamil Thai Valtu sung by the distinguished sisters Bavitra Sainthan a grade 12 student grade 12 IB student at Turner Fenton Senior Secondary School and her sister Mitra Sainthan grade 9 IB student at the same school vanakkam oh canada our home and native land true patriot love in all of our commands with glowing hearts we see the rise the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free oh canada we stand on guard for thee Oh Canada we stand on guard for thee Varga nirandaram varga tamil moli valiya valiya ve e banamalanda anitu malandidum vanmoli vaaliyave yel kadal vaippinum tanmanam veesi 
இசை கொண்டு வாடியவே எங்க தமிழ் மொழி எங்க தமிழ் மொழி என்றென்றும் வாழியவே சூழ்கலி நீங்க தமிழ் மொழியோங்க துளங்குக வையகமே தொல்லு வினை தரு தொல்லையகன்று சுடர்க தமிழ்நாடு வாழ்க தமிழ் மொழி வாழ்க தமிழ் மொழி வாழ்க தமிழ் மொழியே வானமறிந்த தனித்துமறிந்து வளர் மொழி வாழியவே வளர் மொழி வாழியவே தமிழ் மொழி வாழியவே நன்றி Thank you, Bhavitra and Mitra. We will now go to our next event. We will have a Tamil cultural welcome dance performed by the students of Srimadhi Janani Kumar. ஜ 
चिंतक जनुता जनुतक तीन जनुतक तक दीन जनुतरी के for that <clears throat> by the students of Srimadhi Janani Kumar. These events that CTC does has great support from the community and this event in particular would not have been possible without our sponsors. Our platinum sponsor for the night is our Chapel Ridge Funeral Home. For our gold sponsor, we have Vibrant Hospitality Group. For our silver sponsors, we have Casey Dental, Dr. Sanda Kumar and Associates and Senadi and Associates. Next, I want to now go to an address by Mr. Sivan Ilango, the president of the Canadian Tamil Congress. Ilango also leads the historic project to establish a Tamil chair at the University of Toronto. Thank you, James. Thai Tamale Wanakam. Canadian Canadia Tamil Peravain, Padin Nalava de Thai Pongal, Tamil Maravak, Tingal Konda Tatil, Renevali Uda and Endula, Ungalaravarayam, Baravet Padil, Mikabu Makalchia de Kimsin. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Canadian Tamil Congress, I am pleased to welcome all of you to the 14th annual Thai Pongal and Tamil Heritage Month celebrations and wish you all a very happy new year. First and foremost, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our frontline workers, including many from the Tamil community, for their selfless service in taking care of all of us during this pandemic. CTC continues to be at the forefront of community service and active citizenship in Canada as it has for many years. Tamil Canadian is one of the most integrated communities in the country and CTC can proudly attest 
to its contribution in not only facilitating in this integration, but also sharing cult our culture with broader Canadian populace. Despite the COVID pandemic, we were able to advance a number of initiatives over the last year with activities ranging from human rights, humanitarian work, economic development, and advancement of Tamil language, arts, and culture. COVID-19 also necessitated us to undertake additional projects to provide support to people in north and east of Sri Lanka with food relief and support hospitals locally. Center for Leadership and Innovation, a brain child of CTC, continued to, to advance youth leadership development in our community. We also made significant progress in establishing a chair in Tamil studies at the University of Toronto with over 2.3 million collected thus far in donations and pledges. As an advocacy organization for rights of Tamils, we continue to advocate for accountability and justice for Tamils in Sri Lanka with our ongoing advocacy work locally and internationally, including at the United Nations Human Rights Council. CTC strongly condemns the Sri Lankan government destruction of the Mullivaikal Memorial at the Jaffna University. The Mullivaikal Memorial pays tribute to the tens of thousands of Tamils who were killed during the last stages of the war in 2009. We continue to place high emphasis on fostering economic development in north and east of Sri Lanka, and we are proud to state that Tenamaravadi farm is now operational. We have strengthened our partnership with Rice Global, a global business and professional forum for Tamils, and hope to inaugurate Canadian chapter of Rice soon. Our work would not be possible without the generous support of our members supporters, sponsors, and community at large. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to our volunteers who continue to give countless number of hours in advancing CTC's agenda and completing our project. As we embark upon new year, exciting opportunities, and of course, some challenges await. We are committed to continue principled and effective work for the betterment of Tamils not only in Canada, but around the world. Let me also take this opportunity to urge Tamil community to stay safe in this terrible pandemic by following all applicable public health guidelines to best of your ability. On behalf of all of us here at CTC, I once again wish you and your family very happy Thai Pongal and a prosperous and safe 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Lango the president of the Canadian Tamil Congress. We now are going to witness the CTC Voice 2021 souvenir booklet release by editor Kumar Ratnam, a former board of director member of the Canadian Tamil Congress. Thank you. Wanakam, good evening. I am proud to present Voice 2021 our first ever totally digital publication. This year's publication highlights essays and articles from first generation Tamil Canadians who continue to inspire us by engaging in the preservation and promotion of Tamil language, culture and arts. For the first time, our publication is embellished with creative original photographs taken by Tamil Canadians and creative minds based in Northern Sri Lanka. We are extremely proud and thankful to present this collaborative publication. Please enjoy this digital experience by visiting CTC's website or any of our social handles. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kumar Ratnam. And now, it has been nothing short of a whirlwind of a year for everyone of this country and the world at large. But instead of diminishing, it strengthened the resolve of CTC to conduct business and to continue the important work that it does with even more efficiency. I present to you CTC in Rewind 2020, a video presentation.
What a year it has been. When 2020 started, no one in their wildest dream would have thought what was to unfold throughout the rest of the year. In realizing this, we want to thank all of our frontline workers for their dedication and sacrifices to keeping our community and our country functioning through these trying times. CTC's 13th annual Thai Pungal Dinner celebrated on January 18th with over 800 attendees. In keeping with tradition, two awards were presented that evening. The 2019 Leaders for Change Award was presented to lawyer Miss Kanimoli Madi for her work in protecting Tamil lands of archaeological significance in Tamil Nadu that is important for Tamils. This award honors the unique contribution of an individual who, through their exceptional vision, perseverance, and commitment, has redefined or strengthened strengthened our society and enhances the lives of all others. The Service Excellence Award was presented to Dr. Thangamuttu Satyamurti, Director of Jaffna Teaching Hospital for his contribution towards health and education in the war-affected regions and Tamil areas. In January, CTC was in America with our partners to meet with government officials in Washington, D.C. CTC was present at the 43rd session of the UNHRC in February 2020 for advocacy work. However, due to the pandemic, all subsequent meetings had to be suspended. As such, we quickly pivoted to do Zoom meetings with the Human Rights Chief's Office, country missions, and Canadian officials throughout the rest of the year. CTC had to cancel the International Women's Day celebration in March and spearhead COVID-related activities. By partnering up with CFLI, the Canadian Tamil Professionals Association and the Jarvis Sports Club, we were able to generate over $10,000 for the Markham Stovall Hospital. In addition, CTC supported our frontline workers with delivery of essential items in multiple hospitals. During this time, CTC continued with its annually promoted blood donation drive and food bank donations. To answer the call of the times, CTC raised funds for COVID-19 food relief for the most vulnerable families in North and East in Sri Lanka. Approximately 3,200 families in all eight districts of the North and East were helped through the Need Center. To extend our drive, we partnered with other organizations organizations and business entities to help a further 4,000 families. Noteworthy to mention here are CTC's COVID-19 aid work in Tamil Nadu and Ulam Tamil refugee camps through Offer and Rise Global Partnerships. CTC, together with our Global Tamil Partners, ATC, BTF, US Tag, Irish Tamils and Peace, and Justice South Africa, conducted a joint global simulcasting of Muli Vaikal Remembrance through Zoom. This was the 11th year anniversary of the loss of tens of thousands of people during the last stages of the war in 2009. CTC also chaired a meeting with Ontario Minister of Finance to discuss CTC's contributions and provincial government's initiatives and support programs. The Premier of Ontario, Honourable Doug Ford, joined the meeting briefly at the end. The Centre for Leadership and Innovation hosted their 7th annual short documentary movie competition virtually. This innovative program teaches youth various soft skills, leadership skills, and media production techniques. This milestone event was held virtually in November and was conducted fully through the youth's initiatives. As a member of FETNA, CTC took part in the annual celebrations this year. CTC continues to be a part of the executive board of FETNA in 2020-2021. Canadian Tamil Congress, along with the Tamil Chair Incorporated USA, is spearheading the historical campaign to establish the Tamil Chair at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus. Per the agreement in place, the endowment of $3 million for the Tamil Chair at the University of Toronto must be fully funded in 2021. We have collected over $2.25 million in donations and pledges and are confident in collecting the remaining amount. Various online support events continue to be held monthly to make this dream a reality with everyone's support. CTC hosted Black July Remembrance virtually. Called In Search of Our Roots, the event also included conversations with survivors. The two-day Tamil Fest Street Festival was held virtually this year. The two-day event in 2020 included live performances by local and international artists and was viewed by tens of thousands of worldwide audience. Featured items included the Tamil Chair Initiative and resettlement support projects in war-affected northern and eastern provinces in Sri Lanka. The virtual 2020 Tamil Canadian Walk, organized by CTC with the support of partners Trincomalee Welfare Association Canada and Tamil National Alliance Canada raised $30,000 towards the Thendamaravadi Farm Project in Trincomalee District. Another $15,000 
dollars was raised to implement the home food garden project in 10 villages within four districts. The farm is now operational with 90 goats and three permanent youth employees. Need Center, a non-profit organization in Sri Lanka with the support of Canadian Tamils Humanitarian Association, took part in fulfilling the home garden project. After the fact-finding mission in 2019, CTC is now a full supporter of RISE. CTC partnered with RISE Global and RISE North America to host the RISE North America Virtual Summit in October 2020. The RISE is a global organization of Tamil entrepreneurs, professionals, and enthusiasts who work in partnership with all people of the world. This is a taste of some major efforts in which CTC was engaged throughout the year. In addition, CTC also took part in various dialogues and activities with political organizations including Minister individuals and organizations. CTC will continue to be active in human rights, social and cultural activities affecting Tamils, the Tamil language and all other matters affecting Tamils and others in Canada, as detailed in our mission and vision statement. As we move ahead with our campaigns, we would love for you to join us in our final efforts of establishing a Tamil chair in 2021. And that was a highlight reel from all of the things CTC was involved in in 2020. Uh, when looking back, it's astonishing how much we were able to accomplish with all of the restrictions, restrictions and the shutdowns and the isolating and the social distancing. But uh, thankful for all of the people who have helped out from the, the people who are from our board all the way down to the volunteers. Everybody put in effort to make all of these things possible. Now we have a greeting by the Honorable Mary Ng, Minister of International Cooperation, Export Promotion and Small Businesses. Hello everyone, Inia Pongol Vatukal. Happy Thai Pongol. While COVID-19 prevents us from enjoying Thai Pongol festivities in person, it is thanks to the leadership of the Canadian Tamil Congress that we are able to continue beloved traditions of sharing stories, enjoying great food, and celebrating Tamil history, all from the safety of our homes. As Tamil Canadians come together to give thanks for an abundant harvest, this time also provides an important opportunity to celebrate the vibrant culture and heritage that connects the Tamil community here and across Canada. Markham Thornhill is a collection of faiths, heritage, and languages. By celebrating important occasions like Thai Pongal, we can see how diversity and inclusion makes our community so much stronger. I know that with everything that has happened this past year, I'm just so grateful to be able to represent the good people of Markham Thornhill. So thank you to the Canadian Tamil Congress for your devotion and your leadership through a difficult year and for always finding a way to bring us all together in a time when community means so much. Happy Thai Pongal. Thank you, Honorable Minister. We will now be joining Premier Doug Ford from the Government of Ontario for his greeting. Friends, I want to extend my best wishes to everyone at the Thai Pongal and Heritage Month celebration. Thai Pongal is a time to give thanks and to welcome in the new year. May this year bring peace and prosperity to you and your families. Despite the festival being virtual, I hope that your celebrations are filled with joy and happiness as you celebrate the Tamil community's achievements. I also want to thank the Canadian Tamil Congress for hosting this event and for being a strong voice for the Tamil Canadians. I hope everyone has a wonderful celebration. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Premier Doug Ford. We now have a live greeting from our Mayor, John Tory. Thai Pongal Baltikal to everybody, and uh, I just want to say thank you to the Canadian Tamil Congress for welcoming me once again. I'm sorry we're not together in person, but 
we're doing this virtually, and I'm delighted to join with so many members of the Tamil Canadian community to celebrate this important uh, time of the year. You know, uh, there are many things that uh, Taipongal represents, uh, and of course it's also Tamil Heritage Month, but one of them is the beginning of the six-month northward trek of the sun. And while it was a beautiful day today here in Toronto, how welcome will that be to see spring and to see renewal? And I hope that means it'll also be the time when we're seeing the, uh, the end of the uh, pandemic, because that's been something that has been a great struggle uh, for all of us. Uh, I just want to take this occasion to uh, reinforce my own solidarity with the Tamil Canadians in uh, seeking justice. Well, a call uh, memorial incident at Japanese University this year shook us all, and I certainly stood shoulder to shoulder with you at that time, uh, as I have done uh, all the way through, including uh, upon my return from my most recent visit to Sri Lanka, where I saw uh, signs there, evidence there, uh, met people there that told me of the atrocities where we still uh, continue to get deep justice. And I want to thank you at home here in Canada for the contributions you make to every area of life. Tamil Heritage Month is a very special time because it reminds us of the incredible uh, historical importance, for example, of the Tamil language and culture, uh, really one of the few uh, classical languages that survives today and one that we uh, we honor uh, in that regard. And of course, uh, the history, well, it's our history now as Canadians, also reminds us of the need to always watch out for people who are mistreated or uh, uh, have things that, uh, uh, that that affect them in a uh, in a tragic way as did uh, the events uh, in Sri Lanka not that long ago. So a message of hope to one and all as we come to hopefully the concluding stages of this pandemic. Please stay safe, stay home and stay healthy. Um, full of Tamil community for the contributions you make each and every day. I'm looking forward as well in Toronto to the opening of that community center we've all worked so hard on. Thank you again and uh, and and Thai uh, Pongal vote to call to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Tory, for taking the time out of your busy, busy day and leading Toronto through these tumultuous times. We now have a recording of a video from our guest speaker from Norway, Honorable Eric Solheim. Eric Solheim is a former chief negotiator in the Sri Lankan peace process. He is also a former Norwegian Minister of Environment and International Development and former head of the UN Environment Program. It's my great privilege and great pleasure to address you on the occasion of Tamil Pongul. Tamil Pongul is a very old tradition to celebrate the rising sun, the god of the sun, and to celebrate the harvest. But it also points to the fact that the Tamil culture is one of the oldest, one of the most sophisticated, and one of the richest cultures on planet Earth. So let's celebrate this great tradition and enjoy some really good hot Tamil food. Tamil diaspora is probably the most successful diaspora anywhere in the world. You can feel so proud of being part of this great Tamil diaspora in Canada and in many other parts of the world. Whenever I meet a Tamil, he or she tends to be a doctor or a lawyer or an economist or a dentist. They're so successful and of course contributing immensely to the new home country like Canada. They also, even now embarking upon politics, Tamil was very recently spoken even in the parliament of Canada. Great achievement. Here in Norway, we have a Tamil deputy mayor in the city of Oslo, our capital. She will soon uh, come into the parliament after the next election and Tamils are also um, important in our life in so many areas. Tamil youth in Norway are doing much better than Norwegian Norwegian youth in the universities. <laughs> I recall I had some Norwegian Tamils coming to my place when I was a minister <laughs> and they said how oh, gosh how can a minister live like that in a, just in a flat? We on our part have major big houses. So be happy with what you have achieved. But while there is enormous achievements of the Tamil diaspora and Tamil contribution to cultures all over the world, it's still a very, very difficult situation in the homeland, in Sri Lanka itself. You will all recall 12 years back when the war ended, and yes, peace was achieved, but there was, it was happening through enormous suffering and even war crimes. This issue of war crimes will now come up in the Human Rights Commission in Geneva 
in the next month or two. Uh, many governments will spotlight the fact that the government of Sri Lanka is doing nothing to create accountability for the war crimes to the country they're doing the utmost to cover it up uh, and giving a free pass to the criminals themselves. I cannot agree more than the former Chilean president uh, Bachelet, who's now the head of the Human Rights Commission. She very recently said that it's the responsibility of the government of Sri Lanka to create accountability. But if the government of Sri Lanka is running away from that obligation, other governments need to take action. That was, why, by the way, what happened in her home country, where European governments were putting Pinochet, the dictator of Chile, uh, uh, into, uh, into court proceedings long before that happened in Chile itself. But the main arena for the struggle for Tamil rights, legitimate rights as a nation, is not in Geneva, it's in Sri Lanka itself. I'm very much looking forward to engaging you in a discussion on the, on the way forward for the Tamil struggle. I personally believe that comes from more Tamil unity. I think it's by employing the methods of Gandhiji, the non-violent but very dedicated struggle. And I think it comes from the outreach to Muslims, upcountry Tamils and those Sinhalese who are ready to support legitimate Tamil rights. But this is for another day where we can have a discussion, where there can be questions and back and forth. But I'm very much looking forward to engaging with you in that discussion. Finally, this is a day for great celebration. It's a day for family occasion. I know that Tamil Pongal search is two, is two weeks behind us, but today we should enjoy great Tamil food. So hot, so spicy, so sweet. Uh, my, my mouth is start working just by thinking about uh, the Tamil food. And I hope you have, have great dinners and great meals with, with, with your family. And I wish, wish you a sweet Tamil Pongal and happiness and prosperity for all of you. So, and I hope that next time we celebrate Tamil Pongal, uh, still a Tamil diaspora will be as successful as today, but that we can also celebrate a little bit of progress in the homeland in Sri Lanka also. Thank you, Honorable Eric Solheim, for shedding some important um, issues to us today. Um, next, we want to go to a greeting from the Honorable Aaron O'Toole, leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Vanakam. Today, Canadians of Tamil origin will celebrate together the beginning of Thai Pangal. Also known as the Festival of Tamils, this four-day holiday is a time to give thanks for the harvest and express our gratitude to our friends, family, and neighbors. It is a holiday that celebrates unity and cooperation by bringing everyone together. Today, Tamil families in Canada and around the world will share traditional rice pudding pongal with close relatives and friends while expressing jubilation over life's renewal. This month also marks Tamil Heritage Month providing all Canadians with an opportunity to learn more about the vast and vibrant economic, social and cultural contributions of Canada's strong and growing Tamil community. On behalf of Canada's Conservatives, I offer my best wishes to all those celebrating Thai Pangal. I hope this festival will bring happiness, good health and prosperity to all. Thank you, Honorable Aaron O'Toole, for that message. Next, to lighten things up a little bit, we want to go to a Tamil instrumental music performance we have from Ms. Sruti Balamurali, who is a renowned multi-instrumentalist and who is followed by millions around the world.
Thank you, Sruti Balamurali, for those divine renditions of uh, some of those most well-known Tamil songs. CTC's annual dinner is a time when we honor some of our greatest achievers. The Leaders for Change Award honors the unique contribution of individuals who have an exceptional vision, perseverance, and commitment that has redefined or strengthened the need for change in our society. The recipients of this award have demonstrated an effort to strive for change in a way that positively impacts the lives of others. This award recognizes these determined individuals whose efforts are characterized by dedication to leadership, vision for change, and the desire to enhance the lives of others. I would now like to call upon Mr. Ken Kandipan, a member of the Advisory Council at the Canadian Tamil Congress to present the 2021 CTC Leaders for Change Award. Thank you, James. On behalf of the Canadian Tamil Congress, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce Dr. Nagalingam Edirviru Singham. Dr. Edir is an educator, coach, humanitarian, as well as a human rights and peace activist. He is a Tamil pioneer, embodying the 3000 year old Tamil saying, Yadamure Yavaram Kurlir meaning all the world is my village, all humanity is my fraternity, words to live by. Dr. Nagalingam Adirvira Singham was born on August 24th, 1934 in Periyavilla, Jeffna. He is an old boy of Jeffna Central College. In 1971, he obtained his PhD at Cornell University, a scholar athlete, a very rare breed these days. He taught at various universities and academic institutions in Sri Lanka, Papua New Guinea, Australia, and the United States. He has written a number of papers covering diverse areas, such as agriculture, education, athletics, and the Sri Lankan Civil War. His athletic achievements are just as impressive as his scholastic prowess. Dr. Edir represented Sri Lanka in the high jump at the 1952 Helsinki Summer Olympics, and again in Melbourne in 1956, where he became a finalist. His crowning achievement was winning the gold medal for high jump at the 1958 Tokyo Asian Games and in the process setting a record. The man never does anything halfway. Dr. Eden realized that sports was a pathway out of trauma, ideally suited to providing hope in post-2009 Sri Lanka and has devoted many years to coaching young Tamil athletes. Not content with leveraging his athletic credentials for the benefit of the Tamil community, he utilized his considerable academic knowledge and experience by making significant contributions to the University of Jaffna Kalinochi campus, the Northern Province Ministry of Education, and the e-learning institute, Anakote. Based on his research, he has published an appraisal of education and sports in the Northeast Sri Lanka. Exhibiting leadership, Dr. Edir has also been instrumental in spearheading global advocacy initiatives in the diaspora, reaching out to international governments and organizations in the aftermath of 2009. Dr. Nagalingam Edirvira Singham demonstrates a life lived in the service of his community. A scholar athlete par excellence, he serves as an ideal for the current and next generation of Tamils all over the world. The Canadian Tamil Congress would like to express its gratitude and thanks to this exemplary Tamil and extraordinary human being by conferring its Leaders of Change Award on Dr. Nagalingam Edirvira Singh. Dr. Edirvira Singh. Thank you very much, uh, Ken and uh, Canadian Tamil Congress for the award you have bestowed on me. Um, one does not work uh, or study or compete uh, or do social service um, thinking of awards. One follows one's passion. That's my advice to the younger generation of Tamils or any other young people. Follow your passion. Don't follow other people's passion. If your passion uh, coincides with the passions of others and the world, that is, of course, the best. Um, I do not wish to take too much time. Um, I 
thank uh, Danton and uh, um, Canadian Tamil Congress for all the services they have been doing since I knew them from 1996, I think, the first time I came to Toronto. Um, and they continue to do so up to today. And I wish them well to do so. Uh, people of my age, uh, I like to call myself an octogenarian, um, and uh, the young people to help through organizations. Individually, it's not easy to do everything that you would like to do, cooperate and contribute. Thank you very much, Canadian Tamil Congress and Ken and uh, Denton and all the others. Thank you very much. As is every uh, online telecast, I was muted, so sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Doctor, for your words of wisdom and and all of the, uh, the the successes that you have passed in your lifetime. And congratulations um, for this award that you received from CTC. Next, greetings by the Ontario NDP leader, Andrea Horwath. Hello friends, Vanakam. On behalf of Ontario's New Democrats, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Thai Pongal and happy Tamil Heritage Month. And while we're unable to gather in person, I'm happy to join in the Canadian Tamil Congress's virtual annual Pongal and Tamil Heritage Month celebration this year. As the leader of Ontario's NDP, it's always been my pleasure to join these celebrations. And I am proud of the close relationship shared between the NDP and the Tamil community in Canada. New Democrats have always stood with the Tamil community in your pursuit of justice, human rights, and self-determination. And we remain committed to working closely with the Tamil community on many important issues. The work that the CTC does to culturally and socially engage thousands of Tamil Canadians every year is so commendable. And the impact of this work in Ontario does not go unnoticed. New Democrats recognize the important contributions that the people of Tamil heritage make to our province. I'm proud to join you today in celebrating the culture, arts, and achievements of the Tamil community. This year has been tough, and I'm wishing you and your families health, safety, and happiness at this time and for the year ahead of us. I wish you a happy Tamil Heritage Month and Tai Pangal. Nandri, Vanakam. Thank you, NDP leader Andrea Horwat. Next, going on to our next political party, the leader of the Ontario Liberal Party, Stephen Del Duca. Vanakum. In January, members of the Tamil community around the world celebrate Thai Pongal, and here in Canada, Tamil Heritage Month. As leaders in the community, Tamil Ontarians give back so much to the great province we all call home. During this unprecedented pandemic, many of you have served fearlessly as frontline heroes. Thank you for your incredible contribution. While this year's celebrations will be different because of COVID-19, I have no doubt that this occasion will be just as special as we gather together virtually. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge some painful events this past year. The world just saw the destruction of the Mulevai Kal Memorial in Sri Lanka. This was an unacceptable attack on the ability of the Tamil community to mourn their losses, and I will continue to stand with our Tamil community here in Ontario and around the world. On behalf of my family and the Ontario Liberal Party, I wish you all good health in the year ahead, a happy Tamil Heritage Month, and Tai Pongal. Thank you to our Ontario Liberal Party leader, Stephen Del Duca. For our next event, we are going to have a Tamil song performance by Kandapu Jandan, a Tamil singer and composer from Baunia, Sri Lanka. 
வாழையில பரப்பி வச்சு பரப்பி வச்சு ஒரு கடல நிரப்பி வச்சு நிரப்பி வச்சு வத்திகளை ஏத்தி வச்சு ஏத்தி வச்சு முழு தேங்கா உடச்சு வச்சு உடச்சு வச்சு ஏழ மக பூச வச்சா ஏத்துக்கணும் நில மகளே இட்ட வெத நெல்மணியா ஆக்கி தரும் குல மகளே ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் ஜோறு கொடு சொரு கொடு பாடுபட்ட பொன்பலையும் பூமீது பூமீது பூமியத்தா மிஞ்சுகிற சமீது சமீர் இந்த காணியில் வந்தா நாம கெட்டவர் வந்தா இன்றும் இல்லை என்று சொல்லாமல் தான் கொடுக்கு ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் ஜோறு கொடு ஜோறு கொடு வச்சதெல்லாம் முளைச்சு வரும் நேரம் நேரம் ஓரந்திடுச்சு நமக்கு நல்ல யோகம் யோகம் உழைக்கிறவன் பெருமை எல்லாம் ஊரே பேசும் உழவனுங்க இழைச்சு புட்டா ஏது தேசம் பட்டணத்து மக்கள் எல்லாம் சொத்துல தான் கைய வைக்க பட்டி காட்டு சுப்பன் குப்ப சேத்துல தான் கால வைப்பா என்னாலுமே ஏற்புடிச்சா எல்லோருமே சேர்ந்துடைச்ச வந்திடும் நெல்லுமணி மின்னிடும் பொண்ணுமணி ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் ஜோறு கொடு சொரு கொடு இந்த காணியில் வந்தா நாம கேட்டவர் வந்தா என்றும் இல்லை என்று சொல்லாமல் தான் அழி கொடுக்கு ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் ஜோறு கொடு சொரு கொடு எல்லாம் மறுவடைக்கு ஏங்கும் நேரம் கருக்கருவாய் எடுத்துக்கிட்டு வாங்க யாரு கதிரடிச்சு களத்தில தான் ஓரம் சேர்த்து பதன் இருந்தா முறத்தில தான் காத்தில் தூத்து பக்குவமா முட்டை கட்டி பாறை வண்டில் ஏத்தி விடு பக்கத்தூர் சந்தையில வித்து போட்டு காசை எடு தேனாருந்தா ஆடி வரும் ஆளாருந்தா ஓடி வரும் பாரடி இருக்கும் அணி பஞ்சங்கள் இல்லை நீ ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் ஜோறு கொடு சொரு கொடு இந்த காணியில இருந்தா நாம கேட்டவர் வந்தா என்றும் இல்லை என்று சொல்லாமல் தாங்கி கொடுக்கு ஏறெடுத்து ஏறெடுத்து பாடுபடு பாடுபடு ஏறக்கொண்டு ஊருக்கெல்லாம் சொரு கொடு சொரு கொடு பாடுபட்ட பொன் விளையும் பூமீது பூமீது பூமியத்தா மிஞ்சுகிற சாமியது சாமியது நன்றி காந்தப்பூ ஜேந்தன் இந்த வீடியோ எல்லாம் பார்த்தோன்ட்டு கேட்க வந்து எங்களுக்கு வரணும் என்று சொல்லி எவ்வளோ ஆசைகள் இருக்குது இந்த கோவிட் முடிச்சு இந்த ஐசோலேஷன் பீரியடை முடிச்சு அங்கே வந்து உங்களோட சேர்ந்து இருக்கணும் என்று சொல்லி உங்களை சேர்ந்தோடு ஸ்ரீலங்கா விசிட் பண்ணணும் என்று சொல்லி எவ்வளோ ஆசைகள் எங்களுக்கு எனக்காக இருக்கும் ஸோ அது எல்லாத்தையும் சொல்லி 
தயவு செய்து என்னை மன்னித்து கொள்ளணும் ஆஹ் சில நேரத்துல வந்து ஆக்கள் யோசிப்பிடம் ஆஹ் ஏன் தமிழ் காய்க்காம இங்கிலீஷ்ல மட்டும் காய்க்கிறோம் சொல்லி வந்திருக்கிற பொதுமக்களுக்காண்டி தான் நாங்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் கண்டினியூ பண்ணி கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் ஸோ அதுதான் உங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஆன்சரா இருக்கலாம் ஸோ அடுத்ததாக CTC through the years have contributed immensely to many differences, different noteworthy causes that uplift the Tamil community's contribution in Canada and the world at large. I'm pleased now to present to you a video that will showcase some of the things that CTC has done through the ages. Because it's been a long time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video presentation.
Thank you for that video. Um, our our uh, production managers in the back, thank you for that video showcasing so many years of continued commitment to the community and so many events and causes that CTC continues to champion. And even with this COVID uh, pandemic and all of the shutdowns, like I was saying earlier, the causes did not cease and the commitment of CTC did not cease. And so next, I want to say that as part of our ongoing commitment to volunteerism and promoting community involvement in the, the Tamil Canadian Congress will honor the contribution of an individual or organization that has supported the Tamil people. The recipient of this award will be an individual that has demonstrated compassion, dedication, and support to Tamil community building efforts. This award will recognize the individual's long-term support, commitment, and significant contribution to the Tamil community at large. To present this award, I call upon Juanita Nathan, former Vice President of Canadian Tamil Congress and School Board Trustee for the York Regional District School Board. Vanakkam. Ulahangil irundam Kanadiya Tamil peravayen padinan gaavadu thaipongal in the vilavai haraveettu kondirukkum anaiverkkum enadu manamaanda vaalthukal. Thonrin pugalodu thonruga agudilaat thonralit thonraamai nandru. Ippadi pattavarum uyarnda pugalukku uriyavarumana KPR our Heleke, our Vale Karadi Valanga Padam, Ibiradana. Our Petri Silavarte Hill, K Pandya Rajan, our KPR and Aleka Padhindra, is the Honorable Minister for Tamil Official Language and Tamil Culture in Tamil Nadu, India. Previously, he was the Minister of School Education, Youth Affairs and Sports. He represented Virudhanagar constituency in first term as MLA from 2011 to 2016 and made significant improvements to the infrastructure and essential services. Besides being a politician, he is one of the well-respected business leaders in India with more than 30 years of experience in management and human resources. As the founder for uh, Mafoy Management Consultants, he was at the forefront of the transformational changes that swept the HR landscape over the last two decades and pioneered the HR outsourcing concept in India. KPR was born on April 26, 1959, in a small village called Virudhanagar. Uh, sorry, Vilampati, near Sivahasi in Tamil Nadu, India. He completed his bachelor's engineering from PSG College of Technology, Coimbatore, in 1981, and MBA in Human Resources Management from the world renowned Xavier School of Management in uh, Jamshurpur, Jamshurpur in 1984. KPR keenly believes in the fundamental principles of empowerment at all levels and is actively involved in the corporate social responsibility activities that focuses on empowering children, women, and youth through education. Healthcare and livelihood support. His belief in bringing sustainable change in the livelihoods of children, women, and youth from the disadvantaged background led to the establishment of the Mafoy Foundation in 1997. The foundation through Soramal Education Trust and Disha Initiatives has touched the lives of 60,000 women and 8,000 children by providing them education, health care, and livelihood. He is also the founder trustee of Confederation of Indian Organizations for Services and Advocacy that works towards bringing NGOs, corporates, and individuals 
to a common platform for mutual learning. Capacity building of NGOs is the prime focus of this initiative. Over 2,000 individuals, corporate, houses, and NGOs are part of this network. He has also authored your appointed and Ayratil um, Orvan, a career guidebook in Tamil for the youth. KPR has been a staunch supporter of establishing Tamil chair in prestigious North American universities. He has been instrumental in Tamil Nadu government's contributions of 1.5 million towards Harvard Univer University's Tamil chair. Bravo. KPR continues to support the fundraising initiatives of establishing a Tamil chair at the University of Toronto. Canadian Tamil Congress is honored and proud in conferring the Service Excellence Award on K. Pandya Rajan for his immense and selfless contributions towards preservation and promotion of Tamil language. Mr. K. Pandya Rajan. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much, uh, Junita and Nathan. Uh, for uh, conferring this award on me, Service Excellence. I'm very uh, delighted and very thankful. And I have great pleasure in accepting the same. Uh, let me wish all the members of Canadian Tamil Congress uh, a great uh, Pongal, uh, Pongum, Mangalam, Yengum Thangira, Ungal, Ilatilum, Ulatilum. Amaidi Kudi Hundida, Inia Pungal and Wat Play Three to Kurigrain, Canada to send the Tamil Hilaku, Tamilay, Ula Hengum, Weirti Kudi to Kundu Kudia, Ingutopu Kudi Ru Hilaku, and Inia Pungal and Wat Play Three Padil, Perumay de Grain, Sendra Idatil Alam, Vapiditu, Vapidita, Idatil Kalam, Idatil Alam, Maram Parapi. Manaparapi Yudate Alam Mahimi Vera Saidurum Canadian Tamil Hilanivurukum Yenudia Indian Alvartikli with the Kulgare in the Virudu Yanakaha Alikapudan and Nikavale Kadanda Nan Gandhikalaha Tamil Vulachitura Machara Hum Tuliel Matrum Arigachi Hill Turei Matrum Kalaipan Bataturi, Ahinal Gutura Hill, Silam Kimana, Panikali, Tamil Harasam, Say the Kiradu, and the Panikil Kaha in the Burdhuranga Puduan in the Kirin, other Silavatri Solvadil Perume and Egrin, Mudal Muriaha, Sudandra in the Avil, Tamil Haras Ulaha Tamil Hill, Tan Tokulkuri Vuru Hulaha in the the Tamil Nadu today in Panigal Nithi may or external focus will no kudan amit the kundu in the Kadanda Nangi and the Ritan Adul Kuripa UNESCO our Lodia Geo Linguistic Study in Sola Kudia and the Saria Kikada am I audible? Somebody was saying, I'm not getting audible. Can you just give me a feedback? Janita? Oh, audio is not working. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, OK. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, in the Panikalil, Mukibana Silvatri, Sola Vimigrain, Kuripaha, Jonita Vatil Sola, in the Wulaha, Mukia Polhali Krangalil, Tamil Ivariki Uruaka Kudia Pandi, creating a Tamil chair in some of the universities, wherever. Tamils are there in significant numbers. We chose about six universities, one of which is 
Harvard Tamil Chair, which we first helped uh, create by contributing about uh, a million and a half dollars. And then, of course, uh, we start. We helped uh, the second university we helped was Houston uh, University. And now we are considering Toronto, and hopefully the decision should happen in two weeks' time. And uh, we're also looking at universities in South Africa, Malaysia, and of course, Sri Lanka. Besides strengthening the Tamil initiatives in the uh, universities within India, especially in Assam, Banaras Hindu University, and of course, uh, we've been always supporting the Dravidian University in Kupong. So that, you know, that's one part. That the second key initiative of the Tamil Nadu government under Chief Minister Ada Padia is, I think, our initiative in archaeology. We really strengthened the archaeology team here. Tamil Nadu today has the largest number of archaeological officers in the whole of India, among all the states. Uh, archaeology, which has been largely driven by the central government here through Archaeological Society of India, we've made a quantum change in that. You know, we include a Tulil Turai. முப்பதுடியாக <laughs> கீழடிகள் நாங்கள் கண்டெடுத்த பதினாலாயிரத்தி அறுநூறு பொருட்கள் இன்றும் விளங்குகின்றது அதை காட்சிப்படுத்த உலக தமிழருக்கு காட்சிப்படுத்த ஒரு உன்னதமான அருங்காட்சியகம் அங்கே எழுந்து வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது தமிழகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய நாற்பத்தி ஒரு அருங்காட்சியகங்களும் புதுப்பிக்கப்பட்டு டிஜிட்டலாக உருமாற்றம் செய்யப்பட்டு இன்று உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு ஒரு நல் விருந்தாக அளிக்கப்படுகிறது தங்கள் வேர்களை தேடி வரக்கூடிய தமிழகத்தை நோக்கி வரக்கூடிய உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு இது ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய அருமருந்தாக இருக்க இருக்கிறது தமிழி என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அந்த மொழி வடிவம் இரண்டாயிரத்தி எண்ணூறு ஆண்டுகளுக்கு முன்னே இருந்தது புறநாற்றிலும் புறநானூற்றிலும் மகநாற்றிலும் சொல்லக்கூடிய பல வார்த்தைகள் அங்கே இருக்கிறது பானை ஊடுகளில் அந்த வார்த்தைகள் இருக்கிறது என்று கண்டறிந்து உலகுக்கு சொல்லி இருக்கிறோம் அதே போல அரிச்சனூர்ல கண்டறிக்கப்பட்ட மிக முக்கியமான விழுமியங்கள் மிக முக்கியமான தடயங்கள் ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி ஒன்றாம் ஆண்டு பிரெஞ்சு தொல்லியல் நிபுணர்களால் கண்டறியப்பட்ட பல அரும்பொருட்கள் இன்று தமிழகத்தில் இல்லை உலகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பல அருங்காட்சியகளையோ அந்த தொல் பொருட்கள் இன்னும் விழுந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றன அது சார்ந்த அனைத்து அறிக்கைகளையும் ஒரு மாலையாக தொடுத்து இன்று உலம் உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு நாங்கள் படைத்திருக்கிறோம் இன்று இந்த பன்னெண்டு இடங்கள்ல கங்கை கொண்ட சோழபுரத்திலிருந்து மற்றும் கொற்கையிலிருந்து இங்க இருக்கக்கூடிய பற்றை பெருமுதூர் வரைக்கும் இந்த உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு சொந்தமான இந்த பொருட்கள் நம்முடைய பழமையை தொன்மையை எடுத்து கூறக்கூடிய அனைத்து பொருட்களையும் எடுத்து காட்சிப்படுத்தும் பணியை நாங்கள் துவங்கி இருக்கிறோம் தமிழ் வரலாறு என்பது மீள் உருவாக்கம் மீள் உருவாக்கம் செய்யக்கூடிய ஒரு பெரும் பணி இங்கு வந்து துவங்கி மிக வேகமாக செயல்படுத்திட்டு இருக்கிறோம் அதே போல கலை பண்பாட்டு துறை சார்ந்து தமிழர்களுடைய இன்டாஞ்சிபிள் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் சொல்லக்கூடிய கண்ணுக்கு தெரிய தெரியாத ஆனால் உணரக்கூடிய பல பாரம்பரியங்களை இப்ப காட்சிப்படுத்தும் பணி செய்துட்டு இருக்கிறோம் அதே போல சுவடிகளை மீட்டெடுத்து இன்னைக்கு ஓரியன்டல் சுவடியல் நிறுவனம் மீண்டும் வலுப்படுத்தப்பட்டு இருக்கிறது முப்பதாயிரத்துக்கு மேற்பட்ட கல்வெட்டு எஸ்டாம்பேஜஸ் 
மைசூர்லிருந்து மீட்டெடுக்கப்பட்டு இன்னைக்கு தமிழகத்துக்கு கொண்டு வரப்பட்டிருக்கிறது தமிழகத்தில் ஹைகோர்ட் இதற்கு பேருதவியாக இருந்திருக்கு அவர்களே டிரெக்ஷன் கொடுத்து இந்த பல படிமங்களை எடுத்து கொண்டு வர முடிஞ்சிருக்கு இது போல் நமது தொல்லியல் சார்ந்த பல விஷயங்களை மீட்டெடுத்திருக்கோம் தமிழ்நாட்டில் இது உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு தங்கள் வேர்களை உணரக்கூடிய ஒரு பெரும் வாய்ப்பை தரும் என்று நாங்கள் நம்புகிறோம் அதே போல புரட்சி தலைவி அம்மா அவர்கள் பெயரால் கலை மற்றும் இசை மற்றும் நுண்கலை பல்கலைக்கழகம் மியூசிக் அண்ட் ஃபைன் ஆர்ட்ஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி இப்போது இந்தியாவில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பண்பாடு சார்ந்த பல்கலைக்கழகங்கள்ல முதன்மை ரீச்சிங் வாங்கியிருக்கிறாங்க அந்த பல்கலைக்கழகத்தின் மூலமாக இன்னைக்கு இரண்டாயிரம் பேருக்கு மேல தமிழ் இசை மற்றும் நடனம் கற்றுத்தரப்படுகிறது இத வந்து உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு கொண்டு செல்வதற்காக தமிழ் பண்பாட்டு மையம் உருவாக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது அதே போல தமிழை எளிமையாக உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு கற்றுத்தருவதற்காக நூறு மையங்கள் தமிழ் வளர் மையங்கள் உருவாக்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன இதை இன்னும் இரண்டாயிரமாக உயர்த்துவதற்காக மைய அரசு உருவாக்கி இருக்கிற செம்மொழி தமிழாய்வு நிறுவனம் மூலமாக இப்போ வந்து இந்த இரண்டாயிரம் மையங்கள் உருவாக்கும் பணி துவங்க இருக்கிறது பாரத பிரதமர் இதை வெகு விரைவில் துவங்கி வைக்க இருக்கிறார் அநேகமாக அடுத்த பிப்ரவரி மாதம் பதினாலாம் தேதி அது நடக்க இருக்கிறது தமிழகத்துக்காக ஒரு கல்ச்சர் பேக்கேஜ் அதாவது பண்பாட்டு பண்பாடு சார்ந்த பல விஷயங்கள் தமிழகத்துல ஒரு தெரியும் பல புராதான கட்டடங்கள் இருக்கு இந்த கட்டடங்கள் எல்லாம் மீட்டெடுத்து அதுல அருங்காட்சியங்கள் உருவாக்கக்கூடிய பணி மியூசியம் ஆஃப் த வேர்ல்ட் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய தமிழுக்கான ஒரு அழகான ஒரு அருங்காட்சியகம் உருவாக்கும் பணி முதல்வர் நம்ம மாண்பகு பிரதமர் அவர்களால் அறிவிக்கப்பட இருக்கிறது அதற்கான கிரவுண்ட் ஒர்க் எல்லாம் பண்ணியிருக்கிறோம் மீண்டும் பல புராதன சின்னங்கள் ஹிஸ்டாரிக்கல் மானுமெண்ட்ஸ் தமிழகத்துல மொத்தம் ஐநூறு புராதன சாதனங்களை பக்கத்துல நாங்க எடுத்து வச்சிருக்கிறோம் இது எல்லாத்தையுமே வந்து நல்ல முறையில பாதுகாத்து அதை வந்து அடுத்த தலைமுறை தமிழர்களுக்கு இதை அறிமுகப்படுத்தும் பணியும் நாங்க துவங்கி இருக்கிறோம் இது போல் பல பணிகள் அதே போல நாட்டுப்புற கலைஞர்கள் அதுவும் வந்து தமிழர் பண்பாடை தங்கள் இதயத்தில் ஊற வைத்து அர்ப்பணிப்பு உணர்வோட பணியாற்றிட்டு இருக்கிற ஒரு லட்சத்திற்கும் மேற்பட்ட நாட்டுப்புற கலைஞர்கள் இன்று நாட்டுப்புற கலைஞர்கள் வாரியத்துல சேர்த்து அவங்க அவங்களுடைய வாழ்வாதாரத்தை உறுதி செய்திருக்கிறோம் கொரோனா நேரத்துல கூட கோவிட் நைன்டீன் டயத்துல கூட அவங்களுக்கு வாழ்வாதாரத்திற்கு வழி செய்து தந்தது தமிழக அரசாங்கம் இது போல வந்து பல பணிகளை நாங்கள் எடுத்து செய்து கொண்டிருந்தாலும் உலகமெங்கும் பரவி நிற்கும் வேறுபடுத்தி நிற்கும் இரண்டு கோடி தமிழர்களுக்கு மேல் அவர்களையும் தமிழகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய எட்டரை கோடி தமிழர்கள் உடன் சேர்த்து பார்க்கக்கூடிய ஒரு பார்வையை உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறது தமிழக அரசாங்கம் இது அவ்வளவு எளிதாக இல்லை உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இந்திய நாட்டில் ஒரு அங்கமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய தமிழ்நாடு இந்த உலக பார்வையை எடுப்பதற்காக இருந்த தடைகளை எல்லாம் கடந்து இன்று மைய அரசையும் எங்களுடைய பார்வையுடன் இணைந்து நோக்க வைத்திருக்கிறோம் அதனால தான் இது போன்ற பல விஷயங்கள் சாத்தியமா இருக்கு நினைக்கிறேன் கனடா இன்று வந்து நம்ம உலக அரங்கில் யுனெஸ்கோல மிகப்பெரிய ரேட்டிங் இந்த உலகத்தில் எது மிகுந்த தாக்கமிக்க மொழி ஹூ விச் இஸ் த மோஸ்ட் இன்ஃபுளுவன்ஷியல் லாங்குவேஜ் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் என்ற ஒரு சர்வே இப்ப திருப்பி திருப்பி அவங்க எடுத்துட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க இதுல நம்ம உலக மொழிகள் ஆறாயிரத்தி ஐநூறுல அழிந்து விடக்கூடிய மொழிகள் ஒரு மூவாயிரம் மொழிகள் இருந்தாலும் மீதி இருக்கிற மொழிகளை அவங்க ரேட் பண்ணி ஒரு ஏழு கிரைடீரியா வச்சு ரேட் பண்ணி இருக்கிறப்போ தமிழ் அதுல வந்து சென்ற முறை பதினாலாவது இடத்துல வந்திருக்கின்றது நம்ம எல்லாருக்கும் பெருமை சேர்க்கக்கூடிய ஒரு விஷயம் உலகத்தில் நூற்றில் ஒருவர் மட்டுமே பேசக்கூடிய தமிழ் மொழி இந்த ஜியோ லிங்விஸ்டிக் ஸ்டடியில ஆங்கிலத்துக்கும் பிரெஞ்சுக்கும் ஸ்பானிஷுக்கும் போர்ச்சுகீஸுக்கும் போட்டியிட்டு இந்த பதினாலு இடத்துல வந்திருக்குன்றது நம்ம எல்லாருக்கும் பெருமை சேர்க்கக்கூடிய விஷயம் இந்த நான்கு ஆண்டுகள்ல இந்த பதினாலாவது இடத்துல இருந்து இந்த பத்தாவது இடத்துக்குள்ள கொண்டு வரும் ஒரு புனித பணியில நாங்கள் ஈடுபட்டிருக்கிறோம் எங்களுடைய 
எல்லா வளங்களையும் இந்த கருத்தியலை நோக்கி நாங்க செலவு செஞ்சிட்டு இருக்கோம் அதாவது எத்தனை பேர் உலகத்துல தமிழ் மொழியை அறிந்தவர்கள் இந்த எண்ணிக்கையை உயர்த்துவது எப்படி எத்தனை நம்ம கலை பொக்கிஷங்களை ஆவணப்படுத்தி காட்சிப்படுத்தி உலகத்துக்கு வெளிச்சம் போட்டு காட்ட முடியுமோ அதை செஞ்சிட்டு இருக்கோம் திருக்குறள் இந்த நான்கு ஆண்டுகள்ல வந்து பத்து புது மொழிகள்ல இந்த திருக்குறள் நம்ம உலக பொதுமறையாம் திருக்குறளை டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பண்ணக்கூடிய டிரான்ஸ்கிரியேட் பண்ணக்கூடிய பணி நல்லா நடந்திருக்கு அதே போல பதினஞ்சு கணக்கு நூட்கள் எல்லாத்தையுமே வந்து பிரெஞ்சு மொழியிலும் ஆங்கிலத்துல மீண்டும் டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பண்ணக்கூடிய பணியும் நடந்துட்டு இருக்கு இந்த மாதிரி வந்து மொழிபெயர்ப்பு என்பது மிக மையமாக வச்சு சொற்குவை என்ற திட்டம் வந்து நான் துவங்கி வைத்தேன் சிகாகோல இருந்து உலக தமிழ் மாநாட்டில் அதிலிருந்து இப்ப அந்த சொற்குவையில வந்து பன்னிரெண்டாயிரம் இளைஞர்கள் இணைந்து உலகத்தில் எந்த மொழியில் எந்த நாட்டில் எந்த துறையில் ஒரு புது வார்த்தை வந்தாலும் அதற்கான தமிழ் ஈக்குவலன்ஸ் தமிழ் வார்த்தை ஒரு மாதத்திற்குள் கண்டறிந்து அந்த 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 கலை சொல்லை சொற்குவை டாட் காம் மூலமாக உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு சென்று 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 கொண்டிருக்கு சென்றடைந்த வைத்திருக்கிறோம் இந்த சொற்குவை ஸ்கீம் வந்து உலக தமிழர்கள் இந்தியாவுக்குள்ளே இருக்கிறவங்க பெரிய ஆர்வத்துடன் இதில் கலந்துட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க அவங்க வந்து எந்த மொழியில எந்த துறையில எந்த புது வார்த்தை உருவாகிறது என்பது வெகு வேகமாக கண்டறிந்து சொல்லக்கூடிய ஒரு பணி அவங்க செஞ்சிட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க இது ஒரு வகையில உலக தமிழர்களை சொல் மூலமாக ஒருங்கிணைக்கும் ஒரு பணி ஒரு டிஜிட்டல் தமிழ் கார்பஸ் உருவெடுக்க வைத்திருக்கிறது இந்த சொற்குவை என்பது இந்த அனைத்து திட்டங்கள் மூலமாக உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு எங்களாலான பங்கை நாங்கள் ஆற்றி கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் அதே நேரத்தில் தமிழர்களின் வாழ்வாதாரம் தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருக்கிற தமிழர்களின் வாழ்வாதாரத்தை மீட்டெடுப்பதற்காக கடந்த நான்கு ஆண்டுகளில் பொருளாதார பணியாற்றி வருகிறது தமிழக அரசாங்கம் இந்திய அரசாங்கத்தின் வளர்ச்சி இந்தியாவோட பொருளாதார வளர்ச்சி எவ்வளவு இருக்கோ அதை விட இரண்டு விழுக்காடு அதிகமாக தமிழ்நாட்டுடைய வளர்ச்சி கடந்த நான்கு ஆண்டுகளாக இருக்கிறது என்பதை சொல்வதில் பெருமை அடைகிறேன் இந்தியாவில் இரண்டாவது பெரிய ஜிடிபி இருக்கக்கூடிய மாநிலமாக தமிழகம் உருமாற்றப்பட்டிருக்கிறது வெற்றி நடை போடும் தமிழகமாக இன்று தமிழகம் உருவாகி வருவது உலக தமிழர்களுக்கு பெருமை சேர்க்கக்கூடிய ஒரு விஷயமாக இருக்கும் நாங்கள் நம்புகிறோம் இந்த கனடியன் தமிழ் காங்கிரஸ்ல இந்த பொங்கல் திருவிழாவில் உங்கள் முன்னாள் பேச வாய்ப்பு கிடைத்த வாய்ப்பு தந்த அனைவருக்கும் குறிப்பாக திரு டான்டன் துரைராஜா அவர்களுக்கும் என்னை அறிமுகம் செய்த ஜானிதா நாத் நாத்தன் அவர்களுக்கும் இதே பூர்வமான நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு இந்த பொங்கல் திருவிழா உங்களுடைய தமிழ் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் மந்த் என்று கொண்டாடி கொண்டிருப்பது எங்க எல்லாருக்குமே பெருமை சேர்க்கக்கூடிய ஒரு விஷயம் ஒரு வகையில அடையாளம் என்பது நமது முதல் அடையாளம் தமிழ் அடையாளம் தான் அந்த அடையாளத்தின் மூலமாக ஒருங்கிணைந்திருக்கக்கூடிய இன்னைக்கு அனைத்து கனடியன் தமிழ் காங்கிரஸ் உறுப்பினர்களுக்கும் அவர்கள் குடும்பத்தாருக்கும் இனிய பொங்கல் நல்வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு இந்த சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸலன்ஸ் அவார்ட் ஆஹ் எனக்கு தந்த உங்க அனைவருக்கும் நல்லுள்ளங்களுக்கு நன்றியை கூறி கனடா தமிழக உறவை வலுப்படுத்துவதற்கு கண்டிப்பாக நானும் பாடுபடுவேன் என்று உறுதி கூறி விடைபெறுகிறேன் வெல்க தமிழ் மெல்ல தமிழ் இனி வெல்லும் என்று கூறி விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்க வாழ்த்துக்கள் Please excuse my, uh, my muted mic. Our next speech will be by a dear friend of the Tamil community, Rob Oliphant, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs.
No, I just needed to unmute as well. It is uh, really a wonderful pleasure to be here with you tonight. Um, thank you, James, for that. And to all, I say vanakam, and to wish you all a belated, uh, very happy Taipongol, but also to, uh, to mark this occasion as we again celebrate and honor the vibrant culture and heritage of the Tamil community during uh, Tamil Heritage Month. It's, um, it's a great honor here also to be not only the Member of Parliament for Don Valley West, but also the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And as such, I also bring you greetings from our Minister, the Honourable Mark Garneau, and to the team at Global Affairs Canada uh, that follows all the issues in the world that I know the CTC cares so much about. It's, uh, it's a great honor once again to be with the, Can the Tamil Canadian Tamil Congress. Um, and as long as nobody, we all need to promise not to tell Frank Scarpetti this, but it's actually okay for me not to have to drive to Markham tonight. That's the only good thing about tonight is that I am uh, happily doing this uh, from uh, my own home. And I've been enjoying the speeches, uh, uh, honoring the sponsors, but also looking at the arts and culture, the music, the dance, and the vibrancy of the uh, Tamil Canadian um, population, which is so important to Canada and so important to me personally. Obviously, COVID-19 has has affected all of our lives and uh, this event, but uh, CTC has done a great job of gathering us together virtually. And uh, I'm assuming that this will be recorded so that people can follow it uh, throughout the week and uh, send it uh, to friends as well or get them to be able to, to check it out. We deeply value the contributions of, of Tamils in our society in, in every way. Um, and the, uh, the gifts that you make uh, charitably, uh, that you make academically, uh, through uh, your professions and uh, your hard work, and simply being good neighbors uh, is what makes Canada a rich and vibrant and wonderful country. And so we, we honor that. And I, I think as I was listening to Mayor John Tory, I was particularly touched as uh, he reminded all of us of that, uh, that important contribution. Um, but it's not an easy time uh, for Tamils right now. Uh, your, your mind is often and your heart is often still in Sri Lanka. We know that. And we know that as minority rights are, um, are, are, are diminished, as uh, the, uh, the, the hope for reconciliation and, uh, and accountability uh, hasn't always come through, uh, that uh, you continue to worry about family and friends in Sri Lanka and that uh, the, the conflict which brought many of you to Canada and which continued again in which I walked uh, through many of you with the civil uh, conflict in 2009 uh, is, are stark reminders of the importance of accountability and justice uh, for all people and for the valuing of human rights in every country, in every circumstance. And for those of you who lost loved ones through conflict and uh, um, and the strife of Sri Lanka, remembrance is crucial and reconciliation is even more crucial, but it takes hard work on the, the part of the perpetrator, especially to ensure that that, that happens. We're deeply disappointed, as has been mentioned already tonight, uh, to hear the destruction of the monument at Jaffna University to uh, Tamil uh, civilians who died at uh, Muli Vekal uh, in 2009. And uh, it is one example, a horrendous example, of a government which is not standing up for human rights the way we would uh, hope they would as, uh, as Commonwealth siblings. So Canada will continue to call for justice, will continue to call for an inclusive, prosperous, and reconciled Sri Lanka. And we are pleased to work uh, towards these objectives with civil society in Sri Lanka, here in Canada, uh, including especially our host, the uh, Canadian Tamil Congress, uh, but all Tamils in Canada who want to have um, an end to conflict and the, uh, the continuation of prosperity and the valuing of everyone. Canada will continue to push for progress on human rights, reconciliation, accountability, and transitional justice. And we know that uh, these efforts are critical to bringing about closure to you, for your families, 
and communities and to deliver real peace and prosperity for all Sri Lankans. So it's been a tough year. Um, it's not getting easier quickly, uh, but we're in this together and the, uh, the neighborly contributions of Tamils to charities, to universities, to communities and your professions is what will make Canada get through this uh, horrendous period uh, with grace and health and dignity. And I want all of you to celebrate um, the best of what was Taipangol uh, recently. And uh, will continue to be a year that we will work together. Um, I thank you. I thank to the executive, Danton, and, uh, and his staff team, as well as the whole executive of the Congress for the work you do every day and for the work you've done tonight for being creative. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Minister Rob Alifan. The Canadian Tamil Congress's Women in Leadership Award is presented to someone who has achieved success in her profession, contributes time and energy to improve the quality of life of others in the community, actively assists others, particularly women, in realizing their full leadership potential, demonstrates exemplary leadership abilities and is a role model and mentor to other women and girls, has inspired other women, young and old, through formal and informal memberships. Mentorship. To present the Women in Leadership Award, I would like to invite Ravina Rajasingham, a member of the Board of Directors of the Canadian Tamil Congress. Manakam. It is an honor and I take great pride in introducing the recipient of the Canadian Tamil Congress Women in Leadership Award 2020. I know her personally and I have witnessed her tireless dedication to community work dating back at least 10 years ago. Like a mother to me, I admire her courage and her leadership and not to forget her fully charged energy at all times. I'm sure she faced many challenges in accomplishing her missions, but her resilience, perseverance, and the self-confidence kept her going. This is what we want every woman to do. No matter what comes at you, keep your confidence and drive towards your goals. She has become my role model, and I'm sure for many of those who you met her. The incredible amount of work she has contributed and their success stories here and back home has proven over and over again her passion and leadership. Please allow me to elaborate on her story. Since arriving in Canada in the early 90s, Ms. Sodi Malar Param Sodi, widely known as teacher, has been engaged in multiple community initiatives, and volunteer work. Examples include her role as a teacher's assistant at the local school, volunteering in political campaigns, fundraising for the local Scout Canada group, and her passionate involvement with fundraising for humanitarian relief efforts for the internally displaced in Sri Lanka's North and East. In addition to her volunteer work, she actively raised awareness about Tamil's plight for peace and justice through several theater performances in various North American cities. Following her retirement in the early 2000s, she returned to Sri Lanka to continue her humanitarian work on the ground. Following the end of war in 2009, she focused on Betiklaw district remote areas which were most devastated by the war and continued to suffer socially and economically. With the support of her family, friends, and a small group of donors, projects she has successfully implemented are long-term in focus and self-sustaining. They include building an elementary school from the ground up in Palachene, increasing access to drinking water by constructing shared water wells in various remote villages, including Palachene, Kittul, and Kokotichole, constructing water retention ponds in Canadian Aru to support local agricultural and land use, 
creating agricultural opportunities for over 12 families in Mavari Ore and connecting several families with sustainable economic and education opportunities in North and Eastern provinces. Ms. Paramsodi is a proud recipient of several prestigious awards, including the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal for Service and Ontario Service Awards. Today, she continues coordinating work on the ground and highly encourages individuals and organizations abroad to strengthen the economic outcome combined with education and skills development in the war-torn region. It is my, it is a one, to a wonderful mother, a wife, grandmother, mother-in-law, and a sister. Please all join me in presenting and congratulating the, to congratulating to Ms. Sodi Mellor Param Sodi with Canadian Tamil Congress Women in Leadership 2020 Award. Thank you very much, Nandri. Anbulangal Anavirakum Vanakam in the Vidhane Tanda Canadia Tamil Pairavaki Nandri in the Nandri Enan Kurta Vuladu Thayat in Thirvailai Purti Sivadaki Makalin Purla and Lay Nilapatta Vadaki Kainiti Tanda Anbulangal Katan in the Vidhu Uriadu Makal and the Mikan Nirkadian or Varki either Noki Kundrapadal Pulahalin Kalvi Valkai Padika Padan Rade, Pulambe in the Nangal over the Rum, Thaihat and Noki, the Pulahalin Edithala and Nindahala Nokil, Kalvi Pelapadatavade, Engal over the Rin, Thalaya Kadame. In the Kadame, Nangal Unandu over the Rum Moon Bande, Seya Vendamande, Thalmeana Vanakamaga, Ulan and Kritakurun Rain, Mundum. Canadian Tamil Pairavaki, Nana in the Vidhine Evaki Tanda Vakim, a Nodo Tulachi and Bulangalakum, and Everkum Nandri Paratakal. Panakam Congratulations on your award. We will now have a speech by Garnet Genuis, MP. Shadow Minister for International Development and Human Rights. Well, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure for me to be able to be uh, with you today. Uh, I want to thank the Canadian Tamil Congress for organizing this event. Uh, and uh, I'm sure as others have said, it would be lovely to be together in person. I, I miss all of you, those of you who, who know me. I, I miss the opportunity to interact with you in person. Uh, and throughout this pandemic, I've been thinking, you know, in a couple of weeks, I'll go to Toronto. Maybe in maybe next month, everything will be will be better and hoping. And uh, nonetheless, I, I want to salute the organizers for the adaptation that's happening. Uh, it is great that I can be uh, in my in my home here in Alberta and yet connecting with you. Uh, many of you in Toronto, and I'm sure there are people uh, all across the country and perhaps even in other parts of the world that can uh, participate in this. Uh, we are so blessed to have uh, a very large Tamil community in Canada. Uh, the Tamil community uh, is leading in so many areas, uh, yes, in human rights advocacy, yes, in politics, but also uh, in business, uh, in healthcare. Uh, I want to salute the the frontline workers from the the Tamil community and other communities as well uh, that have uh, given so much to Canada during this this pandemic, and uh, in 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 arts and culture in so many sectors uh, we see the leadership of the Tamil community, and I want to recognize that and and salute that. Uh, I I have the honor of bringing you greetings on behalf of the leader of the Conservative Party, Aaron O'Toole. Uh, and also uh, just sharing a little bit with you about uh, the our, our reflections on the current uh, situation of human rights in Sri Lanka. I, I serve as the Shadow Minister for International Development and Human Rights. Uh, Sri Lanka is a major recipient of Canadian development assistance. Uh, and of course, it's also uh, an area where there are significant and dramatically escalating human rights concerns that require a strong response. Uh, from our leaders. 
Uh, and uh, I know these issues are, are a priority for for uh, many of you, uh, that many of you are, are active and vocal, speaking out about injustices that are happening in your country of origin uh, and are, uh, are are sounding the alarm and calling for a, a stronger a stronger response. Um, and and uh, I want to encourage you uh, to continue those efforts and also to push harder to demand more from your elected officials because it is easy uh, to come to an event like this and to bring a message of, uh, of solidarity and of goodwill, uh, but there has to be the follow through. There has to be concrete action items. And that's why we've raised questions in the House of Commons about uh, Magnitsky sanctions. The Magnitsky Act allows the government to impose targeted sanctions against individuals who are involved in gross violations of human rights. Uh, and uh, there are there are many people who were involved at the end of the Civil War, some of whom uh, have senior government positions now. Uh, and we have asked by name about, for instance, uh, Army Chief uh, Savandra, uh, Savandra Silva. Um, and We've raised these issues of Magnitsky sanctions because when people are involved in gross violations of human rights, uh, they need to be held accountable. And under Magnitsky sanctions, they would be prevented from traveling to Canada or moving their money here. And when those sanctions are done in coordination across uh, across a variety of countries, they have a real impact. And most importantly, hopefully they deter uh, further human rights abuses. Uh, so we've, we've talked about and we've asked questions about uh, the Magnitsky Act. Uh, we've also, uh, at the end of the last parliament, we were able to bring forward at the Foreign Affairs Committee and in the House of Commons motions, calling on uh, on the United Nations to have an independent investigation into allegations of genocide at the end of the Sri Lankan Civil War. Uh, and so that motion passed, I think, uh, approaching um, approaching two years ago. And it it is you know, far beyond time for the government of Canada to take that issue forward at the United Nations following the adoption of the motion by the House of Commons and to use our resources at the United Nations to push for that kind of independent investigation. Uh, we, we see as well uh, in terms of the, the escalating uh, negative direction of human rights in Sri Lanka, uh, we see the, the destruction of, a, um, of an important memorial at the University of Jaffna and I want to recognize, I'm sure he'll speak about it, but uh, Mayor Patrick Brown stepping up and talking about building a memorial here in Canada, in Brampton. Uh, that's the kind of leadership we need in response to these abuses. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll wrap up here, folks. It's it's such an honor to be able to connect with you in this way. Uh, best wishes to all of you as we celebrate the end of, of Tamil Heritage Month in Thai Pongal. Uh, and I pledge to you my continuing advocacy for concrete action, not just words, but concrete action from the government of Canada, making sure that our development assistance always aligns with our values and it is advancing pluralism, tolerance, human rights, uh, pushing harder to hold perpetrators of violence accountable. Uh, and so thank you for your continuing advocacy and your continuing involvement. Uh, God bless. Thank you, thank you, Member of Parliament, Garnet Genuis. We now have our guest speaker from Sri Lanka, Shanakian. Rasamanikam, an MP in the Sri Lankan Parliament. Ulagamikam Valam, Anait Tamil Uravulakum, in Nidia Inia Taitirnal, Nalval Tikala in the Ratilan Tiritukuran, Indre Dinam in the Paralaman Ratilan, the Valt Shidi, Anapratak, and a Sandar Pankarita de Tim, Malchari Rain. I would like to congratulate the Canadian Tamil Congress for arranging this 14th annual Thai Pongal and Tamil Heritage Month celebrations. Uh, which is held virtually this year due to the pandemic that's uh, affected the entire world. I would like to congratulate you for taking the initiative to arrange this uh, event, uh, even though it's a virtual event. event. Uh, I believe uh, 2021 uh, should be a great year for uh, all Tamils around the world, especially for Tamils who live in Sri Lanka, especially in the north and the east. Uh, as, uh, as we step into this new year, uh, we should all be very hopeful uh, that the struggle that has been uh, fought or the struggle that has been going on for nearly 72 years uh, where our forefathers, our brothers and sisters have even sacrificed their lives 
to make it a reality, the struggle to make to win this struggle uh, will be taken forward with a lot of hope. And uh, hope is something that we all need to have, uh, and we should all hope and uh, work towards uh, a digni dignified uh, solution uh, for Tamils to live with dignity in this uh, island nation. Uh, in no way should we feel as second-class citizens. Uh, this country belongs to the Tamils as much as it belongs to any other ethnic uh, ethnicity in this country. So uh, we have uh, we have submitted our proposals. Uh, uh, with regards to the new constitution as requested by the Sri Lankan government. The Tamil National Alliance have, as the Tamil National Alliance, we have submitted our proposals to the government and uh, I think that will be discussed further in the future and also we are preparing ourselves to attend, uh, as make submissions to the United Nations Human Rights Council for the year of 2021 as well uh, with regards to the human rights violations uh, in the past and human, ri human rights violations that is currently happening uh, in uh, many different forms. But uh, in this message today, I would like to primarily focus mainly on some of the burning issues that the Tamils in the North and the East face right now, uh, along with uh, the rest of uh, the country in terms of economical struggles. Uh, the Tamils in the North and the East, uh, the North and the East, as you are aware, is, has a lot of resources, has a lot of potential, uh, which we have not explored and which we have not made use of and uh, that is mainly due to, uh, uh, partially due to the civil war that, uh, that uh, was upon us. But now, however, we would like to encourage uh, people living uh, in various countries, especially in Canada where we have a large number of uh, Tamils who live, Sri Lankan Tamils who live there. We would like to encourage you all to invest in Sri Lanka uh, and we, especially I would like to act as a bridge uh, between uh, the diaspora groups or individuals and uh, bringing investments in Sri Lanka. Because I think to take this struggle forward, uh, we have uh, tried to fight an uh, uh, armed struggle and we have been struggling with our uh, uh, political struggle has been going on for some two years. But at present, there is another struggle that our people are, uh, uh, an uphill challenge that our people are facing, which is the economical struggle. So we need to have uh, our economies, our people need to have their economies in order, their finances in order, they need to have a livelihood, uh, uh, they, they need to have proper livelihood uh, options. I mean, you know, for pe women headed families and people who are affected by the war, uh, we need to give them, we need to worry about their livelihood right now. So I think uh, it's important that we bring in investment to create employment opportunities. And also we need to, uh, we need to support our education uh, system. Uh, you know, at one point, uh, Tamils of this country were in very good uh, positions uh, uh, in Sri Lanka. Uh, the Tamils were in high key positions in Sri Lanka. But however, in uh, 2020, I think uh, 2021, we have uh, we are not uh, as uh, we are not where we were back back in the day. So we have to increase our uh, educational standards. And uh, as, as even though the government is responsible for uh, increasing the number of teachers and increasing infrastructure, I think we need to, I think if there's anyone in the diaspora or anyone in this world who would like to assist students to uh, increase their potential cap uh, capabilities or increase their uh, opportunities uh, by the form of contributing on behalf of uh, their parents. You know, the government will de uh, develop infrastructure, the government will look at uh, teachers, we hope, but however, some of the parents are still struggling to make meet ends, make ends meet and uh, even to buy their school shoes or their exercise books or even some students even uh, don't uh, travel to school, I mean don't attend school after a certain age because of the distance that they need to travel uh, from their village to the school. So some students even have to travel nearly 20 kilometers up and down a day and they have to walk uh, this distance because there are no schools uh, within, the, within their village. So, uh, you know, there is the, the, the question of increasing the number of schools is not, uh, not an option because we already have uh, a large number of schools because we have a la large landmass in the north and the east. So I think even if you all can contribute in some sort of way in this, on this happy occasion, please take a minute to think about how you can make a difference in the lives of a student, a child, a mother, a father, uh, a former, uh, someone who has uh, fought, fought the struggle. Uh, so, you know, think about how to, on this day, think about how you can make a difference in their lives. You know, sometimes a coffee that you might have uh, a week, if you end up saving that money for a year, you can make a huge difference in someone's lives. In terms of sanitation, there are, the needs are endless. 
And so, uh, in, in, as a summary, I would again like to uh, wish all of you, um, the, uh, I would like to wish all of you a happy uh, Thai Pongal Day. And also, I would also like to congratulate Canadian Tamil Congress for organizing this event. And at the same time, I would like to say, think about how you can make a difference in Sri Lanka. You're, 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 you could be very fortunate today that you're uh, in a foreign country, but think about uh, your fellow brothers and sisters who live in Sri Lanka and uh, think about how you can make a difference. And I hope, I wish you all the very best and I hope you would take some uh, action to assist people in Sri Lanka as well. Nandri, Vanakkam. Thank you, Shanaki and Rasamanikam, for your uh, situation report from uh, Sri Lanka, as well as some of the solutions that you mentioned. Uh, we now have a live greeting from Toronto City Councillor Jennifer McKelvey, a dear friend of our community. Vanakam, I'm absolutely delighted to join you this evening and wish you all a happy Thai Pongal. And a big thank you to Stephen and Danton and the Canadian Tamil Congress for organizing tonight's event. Uh, reflecting on my memories as councillor for Scarborough Rouge Park over the last couple of years, I can say without a doubt that my favorite memories are spent with the Tamil community. And that includes uh, attending events like tonight, normally in person as a dinner, but also listening to the sounds, seeing the sights and tasting all the wonderful cuisine at Tamil Fest. And I'm very excited that tonight we're also going to hear from the mayor of Jaffna and the new mayor, uh, Manny Vannin. In 2019, I worked alongside Mayor John Tory and our city council colleagues to revive the memorandum of understanding between the city of Toronto and the district of Jaffna. Mayor Tory said it tonight, and I know that all of our council colleagues feel the same way. We stand shoulder to shoulder with the Tamil community. And our memorandum of understanding with the city of Jaffna will allow for an exchange between our cities, which would bolster activities under four distinct pillars, good governance, education, library systems, and economic development. I am hopeful that in 2021, we can continue to build relationships between our two cities and find ways to work together. And likewise, here at home, I look forward to continuing to work alongside my MPP counterpart, Vijay Thanigasalam, and MP counterpart, Gary Anandasangri, to deliver the new Tamil Community Centre in Scarborough Rouge Park. Thank you again for inviting me and sharing this evening. I'm so sad that we're not meeting in person. I look forward to seeing you all again at next year's event. Happy Thai Pongal, Nandri. Thank you, Jennifer, Councillor Jennifer McKelvey. Next, we want to go to our greetings from the newly elected mayor of Jaffna, Viswalingam Manivannan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Tamil people of Jaffna, it's my great pleasure to bring greetings for Tamil Heritage Month. I hope that you all had a wonderful Pongal. Though we are far away, we are now very closer than ever thanks to the modern technology to connect you virtually. And I would like to thank Canadian Tamil Congress for this wonderful opportunity. I would like to share a few words in Tamil as well. Vanakam Tamil, Canadian Val Tamil Urakale. Ungal Anavarakum Jalpana Tamil Makalinu Diya Sadli, Taitir Nal Vatakale Nantar with the Bundhundi. Nanamakunde Nigal Lorum Hachapana, Taitir Taipungal Nihal Valley Kondari Kondi Kondihal. உண்மையிலே இந்த சந்தர்ப்பத்தை எனக்கு ஏற்படுத்தி தந்த கனடிய கனடிய தமிழ் காங்கிரஸ் என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகளை நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் நாங்கள் எல்லோரும் மிக நீண்ட தொலைவிலே வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் ஆனாலும் நவீன தொழில்நுட்பத்தினுடைய உதவியோடு நான் உங்களை உங்களோடு உறவாடுவதற்கு எனக்கு சந்தர்ப்பம் கிடைத்தமையிட்டு நான் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகின்றேன் உண்மையிலே நீங்கள் கனடாவிலே யாழ்ப்பாணத்திலிருந்து சென்று கனடாவிலே வடக்கு கிழக்கிலிருந்து சென்று கனா கனடாவிலே நீங்கள் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்ற பொழுதும் அங்கும் எங்களுடைய பாரம்பரியங்களை பேணி பாதுகாக்கின்ற இது போன்ற நிகழ்வுகளிலே நீங்கள் ஈடுபடுவது உண்மையிலே தமிழ் என்றைக்கும் எங்கும் அழியாது என்கின்ற ஒரு செய்தியை எனக்கு ஏற்படுத்துகின்றது அந்த நம்பிக்கையை எனக்கு தருகின்றது அந்த வகையிலே கனடாவிலே இருக்கின்ற எங்களுடைய தமிழ் உறவுகளுக்கு நான் மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகளை நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் தொடர்ந்தும் ஒவ்வொரு ஆண்டும் நீங்கள் இது போன்ற தமிழ் 
பாரம்பரியங்களையும் கலாச்சாரங்களையும் பேணி பாதுகாக்கின்ற பாரம்பரியங்களை எங்களுடைய அடுத்த சந்ததிகளுக்கு கடத்துகின்ற இவ்வாறான நிகழ்வுகளிலே நீங்கள் பங்கு பெற்றுவது இவ்வாறான நிகழ்வுகளை நீங்கள் கொண்டாடுவது உண்மையிலேயே சிறப்பான ஒரு அம்சம் அதற்காக நான் உங்களுக்கு நன்றிகளை நான் கூறிக்கொள்ளுகின்றேன் உண்மையிலே எதிர்வரும் காலங்களிலே யாழ் மாநகரத்தை மேம்படுத்துவதற்காக கனடா மாநகர கனடாவில் இருக்கின்ற டொரண்டோ மாநகர சபையோடு இணைந்து பணியாற்றுவதற்கு நாங்கள் விரும்புகின்றோம் ஏற்கனவே இரண்டு நகர் இரண்டு நகர் நகரங்களுக்கு இடையிலும் ஒப்பந்தங்கள் செய்து கொள்ளப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன அந்த வகையிலே எதிர்வரும் காலங்களிலே அந்த ஒப்பந்தங்களை நடைமுறைப்படுத்துகின்ற விதமாக நாங்கள் செயற்படுவதற்கு இருக்கின்றோம் நான் நம்புகின்றேன் எதிர்வரும் காலத்திலே நான் உங்களோடு நேரடியாக உறவாடுகின்ற சந்தர்ப்பம் எனக்கு கிடைக்கும் என்று நான் நம்புகின்றேன் அந்த வகையிலே இன்றைய தினம் உங்களோடு கலந்து உங்களோடு உறவாடி உங்களுக்கு என்னு எங்களுடைய வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவிப்பதற்கு ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பத்தை ஏற்படுத்தி தந்த கனடிய தமிழ் காங்கிரசினருக்கு என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு விடைபெறுகின்றேன் நன்றி Thank you, Mayor. So, going from the city of Jaffna, Mayor, we are now going to hear a greeting from Mayor Patrick Brown, city of Brampton, a dear friend of and an advocate for the Tamil community. Venakam, uh, my name is Patrick Brown, Mayor of the city of Brampton, and I wanted to say to Danton and the team at CTC, uh, congratulations on putting together this um, virtual. um program i know it's different not be able to gather in person but uh, uh you've shown determination to put a, put on a platform you've had um distinguished guests from around the world and and great to hear the mayor of jafta and the and the mayor of badaliko is just absolutely uh, wonderful and i think this tamil heritage month is particularly important this year you know every year it's important because preserving the tamil culture is so critical and sharing the gifts of of the tamil people one of the oldest classical languages i think canada is so much richer because of your um because of the tamil uh, people and i think this heritage month is an opportunity to pass on to the next generation educate others um about the tamil culture and this year is a reminder that it's an ongoing effort uh, you know if you look what happened with the monument in in uh, at the university of jaffna that the, the 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 Tamil genocide um monument um remembering the victims of Mulavakal the fact that that could be torn down shows there's still an ongoing effort to diminish the Tamil culture and i want to let you know that in the city of Brampton we are one of many friends of the Tamil community who say no who say that we will stand shoulder to shoulder with the Tamil community um to make sure that your heritage your ancestry is is carried on that uh, the beauty of the Tamil culture is carried on and so in the city of Brampton when we heard that they were going to be tearing down that statue and and that the government um abided by it we immediately gathered together and said what can we do as a, to to show our support to the community during this period of adversity and our city council unanimously adopted a motion that we're going to build our own Mulavakal man, monument in our largest park in the city in Shinkuzi Park so when they tear down history we build it back up and when they think they can um ignore their blood stained history and forget that a genocide happened we will not allow them in Canada and frankly nor should we wear nor nor should we anywhere in the world because if you don't learn if you don't learn from history it will happen again and so i come to you once again it's been a pleasure to have gone to many ctc events over the years um i i come to you as a friend to say that in the city of Brampton uh, we are proud to stand with the Tamil community and i and i joke that i think over time i'm becoming tamil by osmosis my chief of staff is is tamil my senior advisor is tamil my scheduler is tamil our new chief of police in peel region is tamil our it director is tamil and the list goes on and on so i think because some of my closest friends being tamil canadians Every year that goes by I feel a little bit more Tamil myself. So, um I hope you have a great show tonight and we're going to continue to do whatever we can to build bridges in the city of Brampton, bridges to remembering history, bridges to making sure that uh, uh the the truth of the genocide is exposed. Uh, we're actually right now working on a friendship agreement where we could partner the city of Brampton with the city in in um in Sri Lanka, possibly Badalanko. I'm um, just like the city of Toronto did with with Jaffna. So we're 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 proud to to build on this beautiful friendship with the Tamil community and I can't wait to be back 
with you in person next year where we can celebrate some of the great work we've done together. Uh, Nandri, and uh, have a great night. Sorry, guys, for the mute delay. Uh, thank you, Mayor Patrick Brown, for all the advocacy work for, you do for the community. And we now take go from here to the city of Batikalo, where we are going to get a greeting from the mayor of Batikalo, Tiagraja Saravanabhavan. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Wishing you all a very happy Thai Pongal and happy Tamil Heritage Month. I am Mayor of Batikalo City, honored to join virtually in the beginning of Tamil Heritage Month in a, such a beautiful way and to bring greetings on behalf of all Tamil people of Batikalo. Special thanks to Canadian Tamil Congress to bringing us all together. Please allow me to speak a few words in Tamil. Uh, <coughs> Taipongal and Badu, Tamil Halal, Surapaha, Kondada Padam, Urutani Per Mulavakabum, Ulaka Muludamula, Tamil Hal, Samangal Kadandi, Kondadu Muru, Tesia Vulavakabum, Irkunda. Yamadu Natilum, Taipongal Vulavanadu, Urutesia Vulavaka, Kondada Patu Kondir in the Halatin, Pudi Arasangam Padavi Etadum, in the Vulavuku Koroka Patangi Harate, Ratichaidunda. In the Nilayil, Canada Arasanadi, Emma Tamilitkum, Emma Tamil Kalacharatikum. Valangibarum Kaura Tiki, Emma the Manam Puruman Nandi, the Ritual Country. You Badratukana, Tamil Marabu Madatin, Tony Porulai, in the third Tamil Kuluana, Unmai, Urimai, Otumai, and Amiha Chirapa, Variometric, Unmail, Otumai in my Alta, Nam Tamalula, Manil, Emadurimele, Paramuria Malpona. In the Verdam, Panguni Madam Geniva will, I can add her survey in Sarvade, some money that we may pay away in Mana and other than ever Ladi. You Bolail. Tamil Hal, Anevarum, Kachi, Feda Mindri, Ondraka, Kural Kurupa than Mulam, Yutta Kutatine, Purin the Ilangayanadi, other kind of Purupu Kuralayum, Sarvades, Visanae, Munaka, Vendiman Bakana, Alatatene, Alatatine, he paid away in Mana till Kurupo. Purupu Kural Kahabum, Sarvades, Visanae Kahabum, Ulaka Tamil Hal, Anevar, Wonder Nain, the Ilangay in me, the Alatam Kurupur Khan, a Panikal, and Munakum Bolayil, Bula Kondata Manadi, and the Charvades, Alatate Kurakim, Mandamaka, Amaya Kuda, and Badayam. Purpur and Kriti Kolevin Bure. Ridiyaka, Taipurandal, Valiprakum, and the Munno Halwaki, the Wakit Amaywaka, Ungal Anevakum, Nalvali Purandi, Sweet Chamika, Walka Yamaya, Vartuadoru, Emma the Nat Tamil Makalakum, Nalvali Paraka Vendimena, Pratik. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Yagraja. Next, we want to go to the Member of Parliament for Scarborough North, Sean Chen. Hello, this is Sean Chen, Member of Parliament for Scarborough North, and I'm so delighted to wish everyone attending the Canadian Tamil Congress 14th Annual Thai Pungal Celebration and Tamil Heritage Month. This year's virtual event reminds us of how important it is that we celebrate the harvest and be thankful for everything that we have. Indeed, this month is a time for us to recognize the incredible contributions of Canadians of Tamil descent to building our great country. I would like to congratulate the organizers and the attendees. And despite the difficult months that we have all experienced, I would like to say thank you to the Tamil community for your work, for your contributions to support our most vulnerable during these very difficult times. I wish you all a very happy Thai Pangal and happy Tamil Heritage Month. Nandri Vanakam. Thank you, Honorable Member of Parliament. Next, we want to go to Salma Zahid, who is the Member of Parliament for Scarborough Centre. Wanakam, this is Salma Zahid, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Centre. 
I want to thank Canadian Tamil Congress, CTC, for organizing this Thai Pungal celebrations. Thai Pungal is a time when families and friends come together to say thanks and share the famous rice pudding, the Pongal. I know this year the celebrations have been very different. Uh, and I'm sure families and friends must have found some innovative ways to celebrate Thai Pongal. Here in Canada, January is also recognized as a Tamil Heritage Month. This is a month to recognize the contributions of many Tamil Canadians for making this great country a fairer and diverse country. I also want to thank all the Canadians of Tamil origin here in Scarborough and across Canada. Happy Tamil Heritage Month. I hope all of you will follow public health advice as we get through this pandemic and make sure that we come together even more stronger. Happy Thai Pungal, Happy Tamil Heritage Month. Nandrik. Thank you, Honorable Member Salma Zahid. We said this before and we're saying it again. Events like this would not be possible without our sponsors. Our platinum sponsor for the night is Chapel Ridge Funeral Home. Our gold sponsor is Vibrant Hospitality Group. And our silver sponsors are KC Dental, Dr. Sandakumar and Associates, and, Do and Senadi and Associates. Next, I want to take you to Marcy Ian, MP for Toronto Centre. Thank you to the Canadian Tamil Congress for all of the effort put into bringing awareness and representation to the Tamil community. I would like to congratulate the CTC for all of their time and dedication put into being a strong voice for Tamils around the globe while working to resolve suffering and providing humanitarian assistance where needed. Through their plentiful contributions, the Tamil community has not only enriched the fabric of Canada, but also right here in Toronto Centre. We are so fortunate to have such a strong, passionate and hardworking community within the riding. The Tamil community is resilient amidst adversity, despite the challenges that they might face. My heart goes out to you all as I am deeply saddened about the destruction of the Jaffna Monument in an attempt to erase the hardships that had to be overcome. Know that you have an ally in me. This year has been especially challenging. We have had to give up spending time with our family and friends and the joyous occasions we would celebrate with them. While we were unable to come together in person this year, I do hope that you are still able to virtually enjoy your Taipangal with friends and family alike from the comfort of your homes. During these hard times, I wish you warmth, I wish you love, good health, and prosperity to all. Thank you, Honorable Member Marcy Ian. We now go to our next Honorable Member, Peter Bethlen Falvey, Ontario Minister of Finance. Hi, it's Peter Bethlen Falvey, MPP for Pickering Uxbridge, Minister of Finance, and President of the Treasury Board of Ontario. I want to thank you all for inviting me to speak tonight and for putting on such a great event. It's my pleasure to wish you a happy Thai Pongo and Tamil Heritage Month. Thai Pongo focuses on giving thanks to nature, the sun, animals and farmers for a successful harvest. It symbolizes cohesiveness and uniting people together. And during these unprecedented times, these principles are more important than ever. And although these celebrations look a little different this year, I hope that you are still having a wonderful celebration filled with good blessings, happiness, and of course, Pongo. I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on the con contributions the Tamil Canadian community has made and continues to make to our province and our country and our communities. In fact, my community of Pickering Uxbridge and neighboring Scarborough and neighboring Ajax have many Tamils in our community, and I'm so proud to represent all of you. I know that I speak for our government when I say that we are proud to have such a vibrant Tamil community that makes invaluable contributions to our social, 
political, and economic success. The Thai Pongal Festival and Tamil Heritage Month Virtual Celebrations Dinner is a wonderful opportunity to reflect on the history of your people and celebrate your many achievements and look ahead to the future. And I always like to say, your language is one of the seven ancient languages of the world. I'd like to commend everyone involved for your hard work and dedication on putting on such a successful event. So happy Thai Pongal Festival and Tamil Heritage Month. Thank you, Honorable Peter Bethlen Falvey. Finally, we want to go to Logan Karnabadi, MPP for Markham Thornhill. He is the first Tamil publicly elected representative in Canada. So here we go. Vanakkam. I would like to thank the President Sivanilango, the amazing board of directors, wonderful volunteers, and the Canadian Tamil Congress for organizing today's event. This week, we come together to make the end of the harvest and the start of the new year as we celebrate Thai Pongal. During normal times, we gather with our family, friends, and loved ones to give thanks for our food and bounty, the land, sun, and agriculture. As a farmer's son, I truly appreciate all of the incredible food and land that we have. January is also Tamil Heritage Month in Canada. We celebrate and recognize the wonderful contribution that Tamil Canadian have made to this great country. I wish we could meet in person. I wish I could see your smile faces and user in the new year together, surrounded by the love, joy, and the warmth of our community. Taipongal teaches that better things are to come with the summer harvest, hope, and renewed optimism for the future is here. It is brighter than the dark times we are in. We are united as a strong, compassionate, and resilient community, and we will get through this together. I hope next year we will gather in person to celebrate the summer harvest. From my family to yours, happy Tampangal. Thank you, Logan Kanabadi, MPP for Markham Thornhill. Thank you all again for being a part of CTC's Taipongal Dinner and Tamil Heritage Month celebrations in this new normal event gathering, all while being patient with the adventures of conducting such an online event. As we reflect upon elapsed time since meeting you all at our last year's event, we want to thank all of our frontline staff and workers who have been the absolute backbone in the efforts to bringing some form of normalcy to our day-to-day -day lives. We hope that you will all continue to follow the safety measures of our medical officials in staying healthy and strong to overcome our current situation. Nandri, Wanakam. வணக்கம் தமிழர் திருநாளாம் தைப்பொங்கல் மற்றும் தமிழ் மரபு திங்கள் விழாவில் கலந்து கொண்ட அனைவருக்கும் அன்பு வணக்கம் குட் ஈவினிங் ஒன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கனேடியன் தமிழ் காங்கிரஸ் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் அவர் சின்சியர் அப்ரிசியேஷன் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஃபார் டேக்கிங் டைம் டு அட்டெண்ட் த விர்ச்சுவல் இவெண்ட் டுடே ஃபார் த கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் ரிசீவ் ரிசீவ் டுடே We thank our Ministers of the Government of Canada, Parliamentary Secretary and Members of Parliament. I would like to also thank the Premier of Ontario and Member of Provincial Parliament, our leaders across both federal and provincial parties, the Mayor of Toronto, the Mayor of Brampton and City Councillors. டாக்டர் நாகலிங்கம் எதிர்வீர் சங்கம் அவர்களுக்கும் தமிழ்நாட்டு அரசு தமிழ் வளர்ச்சித்துறை அமைச்சர் மாண்புமிகு பாண்டியராஜன் அவர்களுக்கும் மற்றும் இலங்கையிலிருந்து 
மட்டக்களப்பு நகரபிதா யாழ் நகரபிதா ஆகியோருக்கும் எங்கள் நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்ற அத்துடன் திருமதி பரஞ்சோதி சோதிமலர் அவர்களுக்கும் எங்கள் மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகள் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு தேங்க் அவர் கெஸ்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் த ஆனரபிள் ஏரிக் சொல்கையம் அண்ட் மிஸ்டர் சானாக்கின் ரசநாயகம் எம்பி ஸ்ரீலங்கா இந்த சந்தர்ப்பத்தில் தமிழ் தாய் வாழ்த்து மற்றும் கனடா தேசிய கீதம் பாடிய பவித்ரா சேந்தன் மித்ரா சேந்தன் மேலும் வரவேற்பு நடனம் ஆடிய ஜனனி குமார் அவர்களின் மாணவிகளுக்கும் இசை நிகழ்வுகளை தந்த சுருதி பாலமுரளி மற்றும் இலங்கையிலிருந்து ஜெயந்தன் கந்தப்பு அவர்களுக்கும் எங்கள் மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகள் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு தேங்க் அவர் ஸ்பான்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி இவெண்ட் பிளாட்னம் ஸ்பான்சர் செப்பல் ரிச் ஃபினரல் ஹோம் கோல்ட் ஸ்பென்சர் வைப்ரண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டாலிட்டி குரூப் சில்வர் ஸ்பான்சர் கேசி டென்டல் டாக்டர் சாந்தகுமார் அண்ட் அசோசியேட் அண்ட் சேனாதி அண்ட் அசோசியேட் வி ஆல்சோ லைக் டு தேங்க் ஆல் ஆஃப் அவர் தமிழ் மீடியா சேனல்ஸ் ஃபார் ப்ரொமோட்டிங் சப்போர்ட்டிங் அண்ட் டெலிகாஸ்டிங் டுடேஸ் ஈவெண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ எம்சி ஃபார் திஸ் ஈவினிங் கேம்ஸ் ஞானி ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் அவர் தேங்க்ஸ் டு விஷாம் கூகுள் and again for the extraordinary efforts in costing today's event finally i thank all the volunteers for making this event and all the ctc events possible thank you nandri manakam thank you nathan for that last words on our show thank you everybody for joining us on this 14th annual ctc thai pongal dinner it's not our normal way of conducting business but here we are pivoting efficiently and making sure that we get the information out to our community and everybody in this country and the world over so thank you very much again for everybody taking their time to join us please stay safe stay healthy and hopefully in the next years Thai Pongal Villa we will all get to see you in person with no masks on okay guys all right thank you so much and have a good night